welcome back you guys I just wanted to uh, share how peaceful things are here at the shop as we do our final inspection we'll check on the youth the eggs and even the great and powerful Hornsby there's a reason we do these walkthroughs and uh, if you didn't catch it in the first 10 seconds that reasons about to reveal itself Keeping mantids definitely has its downsides, especially when you're trying to sleep. You got about 12 or 24 hours to get these separated before they start eating each other. I'm guessing there's about 200 nymph here. All of them here do Levinosa or the red armed mantis. I'm in for one really long night. I'll be honest, I was a little mad at first when I saw this and I was trying to call it a night. In the end, there's nothing more exciting than getting a hatch. It means I get to share them. Uh, it also means a lot of work, but it's worth it. In our quest to separate these nymph, we're gonna cover a lot of basics and a lot of things you probably didn't know, but this is my method and I'm gonna show it to you. I hope this video helps other people with their mantis projects. It's important to be prepared when you have a, an ooth hatch and sometimes it's really hard to know what to do. You're gonna need some sort of screen cage. Uh, these net cubes I find work the best. You will need to separate every single nymph if you expect it to live or at least give it a good chance of living. I use five ounce containers. Hopefully you pre-stage some fruit fly cultures. These do not have flies in them, and that can be bad. You're gonna wanna seed some new ones as soon as your nymph hatch, and hopefully as soon as you got your ooth, you went ahead and started to seed and stage fruit fly cultures to use. This fly culture is about three weeks old. If you don't have fruit flies when your mantids hatch, they can starve to death within a day or two. In order to properly utilize those fruit fly cultures, you're going to need petroleum jelly, paper towels, and a 32 ounce cup. Really quickly, I'm going to apply some petroleum jelly to the 32 ounce cup and create a feeding cup. If you do a good job, then the petroleum jelly will stop the flies from crawling out and walking. Mantids start out pretty small, so I like to use a lamp. Um, make sure you have a well-lit area before you get started. This one has a magnifying glass, which I find pretty useful. You're also going to want to use a flat paintbrush and some scissors. You're gonna use the scissors to cut up the paper towels to create a shedding surface between the lid and the cup of your containers. It's very important to get them the right size so they don't get trapped underneath the lid and the paper towel. Just a quick experiment to show you guys how the petroleum jelly works and how well it works. When they are first born, they're going to be thirsty, so you got to have your water bottle ready, along with your fruit flies. Just in case you're not sure, I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate how to set up your nymph. Once we've gathered all the supplies that we need, we're ready to start separating the nymph. Uh, this is a very delicate process because you don't want any to escape and you also don't want to squish any using the lid of the container. It 
It's important to wait a few minutes and let the majority of them climb to the top. You can speed things up by adding a light at the top of the container. They are attracted to the light. That's all you need to know and now you're ready to start separating. It took Rose and I about an hour and 45 minutes. That's not really fair taking into account that uh, we've been doing this a while. In total there were 236 nymph. What you're looking at here are the leftover worm skins and the openings on the ooth where the nymph came out. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Please like and subscribe and hit that bell icon for me. If you guys want to follow the Ant to Adult series and include the Hero Duel of Anosa that just hatched, uh, let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, let me know what you guys think. Um, have a good night. Bye.